<clears throat> okay, so A6. A6 is one of my favorite assignments. And this is where we're starting to get into some more advanced coding. What we're going to do is a, a rock, paper, scissors game where you play against the computer. This sort of takes the number guessing game and amps it up a little bit. And the reason it's interesting, I think, or one of the reasons this is interesting as a game, is that when you're playing rock, paper, scissors, it's not just a simple, uh, uh, it's not just a simple question of did I guess right or wrong. You have three different things up against three different things. So if I have rock, paper, or scissors, in order to win, the computer has to have scissors, right? Paper covers rock and scissors beats paper. Okay, so only specific things that I do will beat specific things that the computer does. So the, the act of figuring out who won is a lot more compl complicated. And I'm also using objects or basically strings so this is not in an R is not inherently bigger or better than an S. I can't compare them mathematically. So I have to tell the computer, I have to tell Python that R is better than S and that P is better than R. So it's an interesting conundrum, right? Um, so we're going to use player versus computer on this. There should be at least one function using your code. And you will need to go through three rounds, keeping score, and the first player to win two rounds wins the game. And then after, after a winner is declared, ask a user if they want to play again. So some of these constructs are familiar to you. What's not familiar to you is these ideas of creating functions to handle the major components of the game. So, when we're thinking about functions in a program like this, you want to think about what are the major pieces of the program. In this case, it's useful to think about the different actors in the game. So there's basically three different actors or three different roles in a rock, paper, scissors game. There's player one, there's player two, and then there's a judge that judges who won. Now, oftentimes, you know, it's just two players and they just sort of agree to agree on the judgment of who won. But if we're thinking about it from a computer perspective, there is a user player. Okay, the user, we need to get their guess. We need to make sure their input is clean. We need to make sure that whatever they type makes sense when we compare it to whatever the computer player's input is. They don't give, we don't get input from them but they need to send rock, paper, or scissors. They need, they, we need to get that from the computer. And it needs to be in the same, somehow, whatever format we do this in needs to be comparable to the format that this is in so that we can make sense of it. And then those two inputs get sent to the judge and the judge somehow decides who won, okay? So that is, those are the three big functions here in this program. 